Hey guys, it's me Ubed, and today we will see how uh, we can do PayPal payment integration into our website. And I'll be using uh, HTTP calls, API calls, uh, REST API calls, so that you can replicate in any language you want. Okay, let's see about it. Okay, so we are uh, in our PayPal account. You have to uh, log in, obviously, paypal.com. You will see this kind of dashboard, and here uh, you can explore uh, things. Uh, you will get a developer option on uh, uh, navbar, or you can just search for developer PayPal and you get there. Uh, that will be a website they will ask you register yourself as a developer and you will enter into the developer dashboard but first of all what uh, we have to do is uh, explore the uh, pay and get paid option and we want to integrate the checkout functionality so we will uh go there paypal checkout and we will get started with it okay so there are two options one they are saying uh invite a developer or like a custom built sites and like that but we want uh to generate code snippet and then add it to on uh our website right so we will choose this one uh and continue with it okay here we will get uh, even their tutorial but i am here to make it easy for you because uh i don't think that was uh easy okay so uh, run in postman i will use uh, postman to uh, show the api calls then i will uh, show that in the python also so run in postman you have to fork the collection and while this is uh forking what we can do is go to the developer uh dashboard here you have to verify that you have sandbox accounts so you are in sandbox that means uh a testing mode where your personal or live account actual account will not be used and your balance will be saved so i have two or uh, three uh sandbox account uh we can neglect this one this was just for uh the testing use case otherwise these two will be which have default tag uh will be present for you or otherwise you can just create account as personal which will be like uh the uh, the account uh, which will be used to pay for a transaction and then the business account uh an account which will receive that uh money from this account okay so you have these two accounts and these accounts will have some balance so uh five thousand uh whatever the currency you have chosen that will be credited into your balance as uh, uh testing balance which you can use okay now let's see where are our api calls okay if i can open my notebook also so that is uh the first thing uh which we will uh, be using uh is authorization to get authorized to do transaction on and then the second step will be create order this will be a sequence of step uh, which we will do in order to receive payment from a customer okay and uh, the third will be capture that payment when the payment is uh, intended by the customer after this step uh, let's see how we can do this i have to fork the collection some error occur 
Okay. Uh, so uh, I am logged in into my account uh, with the uh, this Gmail. So I have this already in this uh, account. Okay, we got two. I will delete one. Okay, something like this you will get when you fork this collection and uh you can see the first step is the authorization even they are showing you here how you can uh perform the uh, capture payment stuff okay first let's see how we can get authorized with paypal and uh, start doing transactions so for generate access token i will open this in a new tab what we are sending this is the base url with the sandbox when you are doing it on the live after you have tested in sandbox you have to remove this sandbox word and a dot right to uh, actual do the transaction on your live account now we will get a oauth token and the parameters uh, are nothing the authorization we have the username as client id the password as client secret now where you can get this so you have to go to your developer account and in app and credentials you will get this client id and the client secret you can just copy that if you don't have application create app right otherwise you will get the default application by paypal already okay so uh, client id is here client secret is here now what you can do is uh, go to the variables so paypal apis you will click here you will get the variables tab now here the client id and client secrets are being used so these ones are being currently used as this so auv8 but ours is different right so what we can do is copy our uh, client id and i will paste it here even the current i will change and the client secret i will do the same I will secret it's copied and I will paste it here. Yes, and I will save it. Now, if I again open this post request, okay. I am seeing my uh, uh, client ID and secret E G E. I think that it works. Same as E G E. Okay, uh, perfect. Let's send it and get our access token. Okay, so scopes are we can use all of these scopes. Access token is this. This will expire in this this much seconds. So what you can do is whenever you are uh, doing a transaction, always get the access token first, get authorized, and then do the uh, order or uh, the payment stuff, right? So this will be always the first step. Now what you can do is open in the tab. the create order post request base url is the same for the sandbox now we are using v2 that means version 2 of their api and checkout orders so we have to create a order first the authorization is this uh, same and the body so authorization when you use the same that means uh, uh, the client id and the uh, secret will be using this access token that means uh, the paypal will know that you have authorized and you are uh, you can use 
this much uh, amount of seconds uh, as authorized PayPal uh, user. And in the body, we will define uh, our intent is capture. That means we want to capture the payment of this order. Let's change some values. I will say uh, the item is t-shirt. Description is this much. Quantity is one. Uh, you can just uh, replicate this uh, JSON uh, with your personal uh, order, right? For the product, so I will say uh, one seventy two. Remember this value. I will show you where that transaction will actually happen. One seventy two uh, dollar. Uh, actually, that will not be dollar in my case. I will be using BRL. And why is that? Because as you can see in my sandbox account, the currency or the country is BR. That means I have the currency of BRL in my uh, sandbox accounts. You can change uh, accordingly wherever you are. Uh, I was just uh, working for a Brazilian client, so I am using BRL. BRL is here and BRL is here. BRL is here. Perfect. Uh, what this represent is the amount that how you are breaking down it uh, to a total amount. That means how many quantity of the product uh, where you, you can define it here and you have to uh, give the breakdown accordingly. Otherwise, you can just uh, do the processing uh, uh, before this, like in Python, and then just uh, simply make it the quantity of one and do the things as uh, simple as you can. Okay, let's create this. And the content type is JSON, always remember that. We have the order ID, the intent is capture, and some other information. Uh, now, what we have to do in our steps, we have created the order. Now, we have to get it paid by customer. Right? Actually, this font size I have. Is it a bit? Is well, so we have to get it paid by the customer. How we can do this? They have already given us the link to approve this link. You have to send it to your customer. So I will copy this link and I will pretend to be a customer. For that, I will open a new tab. I will go to this link and how I'm gonna pay this with the help of my uh, personal uh, sandbox account. This one is my sandbox account. Open this. They will tell you the password and the email. Uh, if you have changed password, that will uh, here otherwise the default password you can just copy it i have changed it so that's why i have to remember it again uh, yes and uh, you can see the uh, the language has been changed to brazilian language password John, that means hello. Here I will do the payment 172. You can see here it was now it's blurry, but see the video first. Okay, it is 
uh, processed and we are back to this domain where it is coming from example.com uh, this thing you can define while you are creating order that after the successful transaction where you want your user to go uh, this can be a website URL of your own right and if the user cancel the uh, payment or payment code cancel due to any reason then where they should go maybe a retry option right okay now what uh, we have to do is so we have to get it paid by customer we have done it now we have to capture the payment that means we will say to up uh, paypal that payment has been uh, done by customer now get it credited in my account that means in my business account i will go to the capture payment for order open in tab and the order id we have already provided then we were created order okay. and i will replace it here so that means order id is this now i want to capture the payment give me my payment perfect let's see okay so completed uh, is the status that means it's done who paid it this was the account right because uh, uh, I used a sandbox account John Doe it was the name and exactly the country code was BR I showed you before right so, uh, that's how you will get the all the information about your customer who is uh, paying uh, to your product right so this is how it's done now how we can see like uh, is this transaction actually happened what we can do is go to paypal sandbox login and i will use my personal account to see the transaction okay but 172 is here right and it's 29 february uh so we are getting this right okay perfect so uh i think uh that was it for this tutorial uh or if you find anything difficult or confusing you can just reach out to me uh directly through the uh whatsapp or you have to say yeah so you can directly reach out to me through whatsapp through mail or you can fill out this form uh like if you want the payment methods or any payment method or paypal verified or integrated with your uh website okay i guess that was it for this video i'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching